Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2 2 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if theta equals to 60 degrees and P equals to 5 kN, determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the I pole and its direction measured clockwise from the positive x axis. So, to solve this problem, we will use the parallelogram law of vector addition. For that, let us draw the forces. So, we have a force P making an angle of theta with the vertical and 8 kN force making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. To form the parallelogram, we have to draw the their projections. Now this is the projection of the force P. And this is the projection of 8 kN force. The resultant would be drawn from the tail of these two vectors to the opposite end. The 8 kN force is making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. And this force T is making an angle of theta with the vertical. This right here is the resultant force. So this angle right here is of six is of 30 degrees because theta is 60 degrees which is given to us in the problem now let us consider that this angle right here is alpha this angle is also alpha let us consider this angle as beta this angle right here is also beta now for alpha, alpha is equals to 30 plus 45 degrees which means it is equals to 75 degrees. Now for beta, we know that the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is equals to 360 degrees. So from here, beta is equals to 360 degrees minus 2 times of alpha divided by 2. So, so beta is equals to 105 degrees. Now we have to find the magnitude of the resultant force. So for the magnitude, Now for the magnitude of the resultant force, we could apply the cosine law. So fr is equals to the square root of 8 square plus t square minus 2 times 8 into t cos beta. We know that beta is equals to 105 degrees and T is equals to 5 kN which is given to us in the problem. So from here FR is equals to 10.474 kN. Now this is our first answer. Now we have to find the direction of the resultant force measured clockwise from the positive x-axis. 
which means we have to find this angle right here. Let us call this angle as pi and let us call this angle as gamma. Now from the construction we could see that pi plus gamma is equals to 45 degrees. So let us find the angle gamma. So for gamma, consider triangle. Let's call this O. This is A and this is B. So consider triangle O, A and B. So for gamma, we could apply the sine law. So we have fr over sine beta is equals to p over sine gamma. So sine gamma is equals to t which is 5 into sine beta which is 0.05 divided by fr which is 10.4 newtons. newtons. So from here gamma is equals to 27.46 degrees. Now to find the angle pi, we have to put this gamma back into this equation. So from here pi is equals to 45 degrees minus 27.46 degrees. So pi is equals to 17.54 degrees. So this is our second answer. This is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.